Hello guys, my name is Omori Gimokaro Julius, CEO of Vogue Design and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you don't subscribe, please hit the subscription button down below and don't forget to hit the notification button to find my latest video. I link my video every Friday and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you find my videos helpful. And uh, today I'll be teaching you three ways to, uh, to blend your colors together using three different keys. In Three different tools in Korea X7. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I release my video Friday. So subscribe to my channel so you'll be reminded of my latest video. Without further ado, I do. Let's dive in. Okay guys, the first tool you're going to be using is uh, today is the blend tool, the blend tool, the blend tool. So we're talking about three different tools we're using to blend your colors. The first tool you're going to be using is the blend tool. So the blend tool is located in this place. It's located in this place. So uh, basically, when you click to this plane, you come to this plane, you see drop shadow. You see drop shadow. So you screw down to this plane to where you see blend, blend. It is the blend tool. You pick the blend tool over there. So once you pick the blend tool, then we do that we are going to uh, select the draw our boss using the rectangular tool to draw our boss to draw our boss so we we'll come back here and pick the blend tool okay before you use blend you fill it with color so i'm going to use a uh, yellow move the outline yellow and uh, let's, let's begin this yellow and red so we're going to blend these two colors together so what we do is you select your blend tool then you drag from anywhere you can drag from yellow to red or you drag from red to yellow so whichever one you want so we can i'm going to drag from yellow to red so you see this is the blend tool you see this this line line feeling shape as in it so you can use blend tool to uh, to bring out beautiful designs okay beautiful design kind of you can rearrange it to the direction you want to the way you want it how you want the blend to look like can rearrange it then you can make use of these things these nodes here okay you can make use of these icons here these icons here you can make use of it you can make use of this one the clockwise blend you can make use of the uh, uh, counter clockwise blend and then you can make use of this by changing the the directions the the size amount of uh, uh lines you want in your blend okay you can change it together with more I mean, the amount of line increase you decrease the amount of lines you want so if you want to reduce the amount of red you have to click on this uh you have to click on this padlock here you click on it so to separate it so you can click on this you can edit this one separately and this red yellow separately so you can reduce the amount of decrease the amount of red you want you increase the amount you know so these are you increase the red you decrease it separately can reduce this one can increase this one so these are you use your blend tool to to work to do the kind of work you want you have more here split and all that show start from new start new start show start short uh, short uh, show start new end show end so this one is talking about you start from start from the new direction show you from the where you end so this is how you use your blend tool to blend your colors together okay is i use your blend tool to blend your colors together you can use blend to do unique thing okay unique design start from here you end here start from new start show your end okay so these are use of blend to to blend your colors together so that's for that so i would leave this leave this one now the next tool we're going to be talking about today is uh using the transparent tool to blend your colors using the transparent tool to blend your colors So first of all, we're gonna draw a boss. Go we'll draw a boss. I'll fill it with the uh, different colors: sky blue and uh, sky blue and the uh, ice blue. Okay, sky blue and ice blue. Let's make sure these two are central aligned. So we'll go straight to our transparent tool located here. This is our transparent tool here. So we click on it. Click on our transparent tool. Then you come to this place. You can either draw from the top or draw from the bottom. Okay, but me, I'm gonna draw from the bottom. So you drag your transparency, you left click on the which part you want to choose, the color you want to start from. So you left click on it, you hold, then you drag. 
drag you see the beauty of it okay see this, 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 it is blending the colors together blending the colors together so you, you can see the the, the the colors are blend blended already so this is the beauty of using the transparency one of the way one of the ways you can blend your colors is your transparency to, to blend colors together so you can either reduce and increase if you want to make this this part thicker you reduce the opacity to be thicker once you increase it to be lighter so basically it's advisable to to, to make it 100 percent so at this place to be lighter you want to make it more transparent and uh, blend perfectly so if you want to reduce make this place transparent you will reduce it so it's one transparent that's the bit of transparency you're using it to blend your colors so if you don't want this part to show that much you increase the, the uh, size the opacity or you reduce it so that's one other way to blend your colors using transparent too. Uh, the, the beauty of this transparent tool is that you can use it to uh, use it for anything. You can use it to blend colors together, blend image together, you need to blend image together, blend anything you want to blend together using the transparent tool. So one there's one other way to blend colors together using the transparent tool. So another way to blend your colors together is, is using the intercept feed tool. Located, yeah, intercept feed too. Intercept feed too. This is the feed, the, 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 the other way, another way to blend your colors together. So, before we use that, we're going to draw a uh, boss again. We're going to draw a boss. So, I'm going to choose, uh, let me choose different color now. Let me choose different color. I'm going to use uh, purple. Duplicate that. Okay, no, you know, when you're using intercept feed color, you don't. It has set feet so you don't duplicate, okay? So you blend with this color, choosing to using two different color. So that's one of the beauty of it set feet too. So you click intercept feet too. There's two ways you can use it two ways. Either you drag just the way I used it in the uh, in a, a transparent tool, either you drag from up to down and inside you want, or you come to this place and use the default way here. Okay, either I drag okay or come to this place by default is uh, is using is uniform fee come to this place and click the fancy fee okay so click the fancy fee then you choose the color you want to be in this place you choose the color so let's use yellow let's blend yellow so you see the colors you 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 so they're blending colors together so guys if you have been having difficulties of blending your colors together you have been thinking of how do i blend my colors together how do i blend these two colors together you have been having issues blending colors together you have you have successfully gotten three ways to blend your colors together perfectly in a unique way okay here's one other way of blending colors together using intercept fit tool uh is unique and uh, the reason why i love this intercept fit tool is you can blend three colors together you can blend three colors together using intercept fit tool by coming to this place and double click this place and double click on this place you double click left click twice okay i need to take it to another place pop up button pop up menu so you can you can you can choose as many color you want to choose to blend in this using the intercept fit tool okay so you double click on this to take you give you another color you choose another color you come to this place choose another color let's say you want to choose red okay let's want to use red or uh, let's say you use red orange, choose another color. You are successfully choosing another color. You see, this is one of that the beauty of this using the tassel fit too. So let's say you want to choose another color, you want to add another color to it. You go to this place, you right click twice again. You right click twice, hit that again. You put on that, you're feeling another color. Uh, let's use, uh, let's say we use green. Okay, guys, you can be adding colors of colors of colors of colors. Okay, you can delete it by double clicking on it. Delete. You can be added colors of the colors on that. That is one of the beauty of using the intercept feed too. So, guys, if you have successfully learned three ways of using of uh, blending your colors together to have a unique uh, design and unique colors together. So, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscription button down below.